Namaste and welcome to my channel Spiritual Regina where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys a spiritual update for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising and we'll be going over your current spiritual lesson, obstacles that you have faced and what is next for this coming month. So be sure to make sure you like, comment, subscribe and also forgive this background. It looks really tacky. Um, I'm going to be getting hopefully a backdrop soon, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the reading. So first, your current spiritual lesson, Pisces. Mm, your energy feels rich, very yummy. I feel kind of elated. Maybe you're learning joy. I know personally I'm learning joy. Uh, I don't want to project my situation onto you. So we will see what your lesson is. But I just feel a very soothing energy, possibly a calm after a storm or... Um, I don't know, just a very, very light feeling, which is kind of unusual for Pisces, I feel. I, I usually feel a lot of heavy energy for Pisces. All right, so there's three cards. Thank you. All right, perfect. So your current spiritual lesson, we have here intuition. And excuse my nails. I can't do them anymore, uh, so I need to do something with them. Anyways, we have spiritual lesson, I mean, intuition. And funny enough, this is the Pisces card you see here. Uh, and then we also have flattery <clears throat> and submission. Ooh, very, very interesting lesson. So I think your lesson, like I was saying, is dealing with wrong, following your intuition and listening to your intuition. But you may have a suitor in your life that you need to, um, I don't know, not submit to, you know, but you may have someone in your life that flatters you, basically, the car said that, um, that gives you attention basically, right? And possibly needing to work more into that energy or delve more into this energy. What is this flattery card? I'm gonna use this deck here. This flattery card is very, very interesting to me. It's almost like maybe you aren't really accepting of love, Pisces. All right, we have two cards popping up here. We have the tower with strength. So I'm, I'm sensing here that you may not be open to whatever this flattery is. You may be used to more toxic situations, situations that deal with arguing, disagreements, um, willful actions, your will being almost subverted because we do have submission here, right? So maybe your current relationship is needing you to submit or wanting you to just be more open, but being more feminine. I'm, I'm sensing here with the submission card. Yes, yeah, submission is about um like lowering your guard in a way but I, i'm feeling with this card here it's like you are resisting the submission um you are resisting this change here and it's because of this five of swords energy here it's because of like a past situation and this is venus and aquarius so definitely this is a love reading or dealing with your love life here and again we do have strength and tower and strength for me is about overcoming more so animalistic urges are like weird urges and this is coming in with flattery so i'm sensing that you don't trust yourself currently you don't have faith in yourself you don't trust yourself you aren't listening to your intuition you aren't following your intuition and i'm sensing that you are getting guidance from your intuition but like the card said submission i feel like you aren't submitting to it or you aren't you aren't paying as much attention to your intuition as you should you aren't following those intuitive nudges um, that you are receiving from the universe or or from the universe yeah but from your higher self as well i'm thinking a message from your higher self what is the message from the higher self for pisces that's i think they're wanting to communicate with you and you're not allowing it yeah because we have soulmate here uh not following your higher self not following your intuition interesting pisces so it's like you probably have something beautiful in front of you but you aren't able to see it because you're stuck in the past you are reminiscing on negative past situations. A uh, message from Pisces higher self. Uh, this is, oh, three, wow, perfect. All right, so we have release, forgiveness, understanding. Yeah, so the past definitely is at play here and is influencing your decisions. And there's something like um, a fear or a doubt that needs to be released. I'm gonna get more information on this release card here. Um, but from the release card, I'm personally feeling like your inhibitions, your negative emotions, your negative feelings, particularly from the past, particularly from a, possibly a past negative experience that you are continuing to hold on to 
and needing to forgive the situation and come into an understanding, opening up your crown chakra. So when you're thinking about the situation, viewing it from a higher perspective, viewing it from the perspective of your higher self. Uh, bottom of the deck here, we have mirroring. So this person may be mirroring back to your energy. I don't know how they would mirror back to this. Uh, how would someone mirror back intuition, right? Uh, God, these cards are flying today. So my bad for keeping had to dip in, but I'm gonna go grab it. <laughs> All right, so you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you need to submit yourself to a new beginning, um, to a new love, I'm feeling here. Something that's new. We also have judgment. I, I'm just sensing here with you, Pisces, that you aren't open. You aren't as open as you believe your, yourself to be. Uh, one more. You have Ten of Wands. Yeah, you are continuing to carry burdens and you are weighing yourself down currently. Uh, and one more card on Pisces' current situation. We we have health here, needing to under like needing to become healthy, um, needing to not question your health. But I'm sensing this is more so of emotional health, more so of intuitive health. Like I'm just sensing that you are ignoring a big part of yourself, Pisces, and you need to be very honest and very open while dealing with this situation and we have convention stuck in what you believe or what others believe for you your energy seems like i don't know what that means you know but i'm just sensing uh, like almost whiplash which is interesting like a whiplash and that was like a whiplash thing too <laughs> uh, all right um, what is current obstacle for Pisces? We'll be using my new deck. Never used these before on the people's excited. All right, uh, just two cards here. We can't do that. I can't do a bridge with them, unfortunately. All right, um... Obstacles that Tor uh excuse me, Pisces are facing. Maybe in contact with the Taurus, maybe. Or have Taurus prominent in your chart. Just one. Too much, too much. I'm gonna shuffle again and then take from the top and nothing else comes out. Current obstacle for Pisces. Alright, we have two coming out. I'll take those. So you have diamond. Pinnacles, two of pinnacles, and we have the three of swords here. Yeah, so again, this is your obstacle. Your obstacle is moving on from the past. Your obstacle is making the choice to leave these negative, weird emotions behind. You see in the card here, it's kind of like really wonky and really like just an upheaval, you know? And I'm getting a sense that you may be used to like just tra traumatic experiences or just being unstable, you know? Like having instability around you and also juggling a lot of things possibly as well. And that needing to be something to overcome. What is advice? I'm gonna take the tower and this card out. Uh, Advice for this obstacle for Pisces. Mm, one more. Just one. The death card was going to pop out there, but I didn't let it. Alright. We have the Seven of Swords as your advice, which is really, really interesting. This is a challenge card, in my opinion. We have under... I'm going to read the card here. Under the influence, seemingly suspicious action, passive action, no movement, moon and Aquarius. Meaning to create stillness around you. Again, I'm sensing with the whiplash, you know, and all of a sudden I feel very like mellowed out. You think to possibly do a spa day. I know I did acupuncture recently and it's literally the most common thing on the planet. Um, but something has to change, basically, is what they're saying. Like, you cannot continue on this path that you're on. And I'm sensing it has to do with your health, your emotional health specifically. specifically. Um, and 
with you letting go of this obstacle in the past, with you letting go of this past situation. Because it's like you're dragging, specifically with the partner, you're dragging their memory or you're projecting their memory onto someone, possibly. All right. Um, I'm going to use Teodor Macer. Teodor Macer. These are the windy ones. Excuse me. I don't know. Your energy feels Pisces like. I just feel like you're swimming uphill, you know? And I don't know. I'm getting sadness now. Like. The sense of sadness that you have internally that you need to deal with a sense of internal sadness you know um what's next for pisces too much they're like gina you haven't played with your cards in forever i'm sorry mm. Mm. all right we're gonna take this too What's next for Pisces? We have three of wands and we have a tower again. So there are some abrupt changes happening. And I think when you expand, oh, my braid here, I keep seeing that. When you expand, <laughs> when you expand past where you currently are, something's going to change. Um, I'm sensing here that getting outside of your comfort zone, that's obviously like really trite advice. <sighs> What's else? Yeah, something is coming to it. Like something has to come to an end. And the world card always engenders this feeling of like being on a precipice for me and like stepping into the unknown. We have the cherry at the bottom of the deck. Stepping into the unknown, Pisces. And taking taking a chance, all right? Like you may not get the outcome that you want, you know, but we are on earth to take chances and to live and to leave the past in the past, to release, to forgive, to understand. Um, and I'm just sensing here, there's a lesson that you've been kind of missing because you haven't really be been able to integrate it. Or there's just some like, unfinished business almost, or like, just, um, like I said, the world always engenders that you're on a precipice for me personally. So... I don't know, taking the step, you're saying, I'm feeling. And I also feel that you need to sway. Like, you need to become malleable, become flexible. I know for me, I can be too rigid. And yeah, embracing the unknown, you're, you have the energy of the moon, you know? And being the moon, it's just cutting through illusions, cutting through bullshit, and tapping into your intu intuition. You have like three cards here about the moon, you know? We have the Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius. The intuition card deals with the moon, and we have the actual moon. So trust in your intuition. Mm, is there anything else? I don't know. I'm going to do um, messages from the other side, from loved ones. I don't know. I don't know why I was drawn. I know I have a Pisces viewer on that. I know she has a loved one on the other side. So anyway, that's why. Anyways. Um, what's a message for Pisces? Up on the other side. Message from Pisces. Message for Pisces. We have embraced the moment. Yeah, and... Just becoming, freeing yourself almost. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. A shift happening. And I also feel the shift in the collective as well. And we have love. Um, love, is some, love is the foundation of your existence. Almost like you need to embrace this love. You know, embrace the love around you. Embracing this lover. Mm. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life, all right? So thank you so much for watching, Pisces. I hope you have a beautiful rest of October. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hope we see you again soon. Namaste.